Well, hello everyone. I think we may start right now our workshop today. So this workshop is about our master program, which is Applied Statistics with Network Analysis. And uh, as usually, I will start a little bit with some organizational questions. I will tell you about recent events that we are planning to have. And after that, I will, uh, I will invite Daria Maltseva uh, with the workshop, uh, working with PAEC and building all sorts of networks, right? So you will be able to practice this approach. Uh, you will have all the links. I think uh, if you're planning to work simultaneously, we may start with sharing a link uh, in the chat. So our participants may just explore a little bit this link. And uh, if you're planning to work simultaneously, maybe you will download their uh, program itself, buy it, right? If not, we'll work, um, we'll guide you step by step. And maybe after the workshop is over, and as soon as we uh, upload our uh, recording on the website, our Masna website, you will be able just to go step by step with the recordings and reproduce all those steps uh, of the workshop. So first of all, as usually, just some words about our program. We are master program, two years full-time master program. Uh, we are online degree, but we are considered to be full-time program. So we are going to work with you uh, in different modes. Uh, we will have courses on our platform, which is Moodle platform, which we call Smart LMS. We will have Zoom sessions synchronous and also it will be possible to work in a synchronous mode because we usually store all the recordings if for some specific reason you are not able to attend our synchronous sessions. Uh, we have four modules a year and uh, our program this year will start on October 1st and I will talk a little bit more uh, about the timeline. So we have the program in Applied Mathematics in Informatics. Our program is taught fully in English and the specialization of the program, the program name is MASNA, which is Master of Applied Statistics with Network Analysis. In our program, we offer for the students to choose different tracks. We have business analytics or computational social sciences. So these tracks, they follow research seminars during the first year of the study. And students may choose which specific research seminar to pursue. It, is, it will be either about applied data analysis, this research seminar, or another one, it is sort of interdisciplinary research seminar, which is aimed at preparation for PhD studies, for doctoral studies. And we call this track academic track. It is computational social sciences. And during the second year of the studies, we have these research seminars or general universal track for everyone. It is about social network analysis because definitely that is the name of the program. And all the students who study in our program, it is not about applied statistics only, but methodology, methods, or social network analysis as well. So here you see how we address students' requests because we try to develop and enhance some statistical skills, network analysis skills, applied data analysis. So we have some mathematical disciplines and definitely programming skills because today business analytics, data analytics uh, cannot exist without programming skills. Uh, in our uh, study plan, we have several components. So we have this general component uh, for the students, for all the students to pursue as compulsory subjects, right? And we also have electives when students may think about diversifying their educational trajectory and choose some courses which uh, specifically um, help to enhance the knowledge and the skills they want to develop. Um, here we designed uh, the structure of our study plan and 
sort of comprehensive way. So you see it right now on the screen. And I think today or tomorrow, this table, this chart will be available on our MASNA website, uh, both in Russian and in English, and you will be able to find it. So here you see how we structure our study plan. So I call this a comprehensive chart because here you see the workload during all the modules for two years. Uh, we have here three different components. Here you see in gray, I think, yes, this is about compulsory courses. Uh, then we have these blue uh, sections that is about elective courses. And plus we have such, uh, such a section which, uh, which is in light yellow, it, which is called practical work. But this is also a compulsory section for everyone because we may call this section as practical work, research work. And here you see that that is about working on term paper, working on master thesis, different projects, and including research seminars that I mentioned before. Uh, here we have the timeline for the most important dates to apply for the application process. Uh, one of the major dates here is September 15, when we stop, this is the final date, to submit all the necessary documents, to upload them in the system, to register in the system and to upload all the documents. Then we have some more time in September to uh, go over the portfolio, to check all the documents, to sign the contract and so on. And our studies will start on October 1st, but before October 1st, we will also have one week uh, at the end of September, devoted to discussing some important issues, organizational issues uh, about the studies to our program. So here you see the components of portfolio. Here we have all the elements. Definitely there are some compulsory elements such as, for example, basic education, because without basic required education, at least bachelor diploma, it is not possible to enroll in the program. But also we have some additional elements such as motivation letter, letters of recommendation, uh, CV, uh, some sort of proof of English knowledge and other supplementary material, which may uh, somehow confirm that you are a great candidate for this program. After you submit such a portfolio, we schedule an interview in English, we inform you about this interview, and after this evaluation, we input the score in the program, and you will be informed about further steps to proceed with. Well, uh, that is very general about the program. During the previous events devoted to our program, we discussed them in more detail. So this is just a brief, a short review in order not to repeat the material which uh, we have already presented during previous sessions. They are available in recordings on our website. But today I will focus on two, two, I think, two important points. So the first important point, I invite you to join our Telegram channel, which is called Masna Admissions. Here you see the name of the channel, how you may join that. This is a young, small channel for now, but definitely it will grow. There we post the most important information about the program. We announce about different events, uh, for example, here you see a screenshot with the advertisement of our today's workshop, Pike Program for Analysis and Visualization of Complex Networks. So uh, I invite you to join this channel because we use it to inform all our students. And also I am happy to inform that next week on July 4th, we start our summer school, which is called Methods and Tools for Social Network Analysis. It will last for the entire week, Saturday inclusive. Uh, you may find the information on our webpage, uh, Masna High School of Economics webpage. Uh, you will find their, their uh, program, uh, you will find the link to the registration if you have not completed it yet. And uh, it is possible to see on Masna webpage here, I 
included a screenshot. And for example, here on the left at the bottom, you see uh, right below presentation of the program, uh, two events, announcements of two events, and there is this announcement uh, about summer school. Summer school, um, we designed the program in such a way, so the classes, the sessions, the workshops, they are accessible and available and comprehensible for everyone because uh, they follow different tracks. And here uh, you may see some themes for summer school. We have theory, methodology, we have some practical work, we have different approaches to social network analysis. So the program itself is very, very rich. Uh, on the left here, this is the brief, I would say, outline of our program, the names of the sessions. Maybe uh, it is not necessary for you to follow all the sessions. Maybe you could choose just some sessions that you are the most interested in. But anyway, uh, the program is very rich, very diverse. And I would say it, uh, it, is, it has some introductory topics for the students who are not aware who do not know anything about social network analysis and there are also some very advanced topics for those who already have some knowledge and skills in doing social network analysis on the right you see uh one of the announcements in our telegram channel uh describing different software tools that are used uh, to work on this topic so very briefly but during summer school, you will be able to learn about all of them. So I think that here I will stop two important announcements about Telegram channel and summer school. Please uh, go to our website and check the program. And you're welcome to register and participate in our uh, event. And right now, I think it is time to invite Daria Maltseva with the workshop, which is called PIKE program, one of the programs for visualization and network analysis. And I think it is possible to work simultaneously with us, or as I mentioned before, it is possible, for example, to watch today. And as soon as we post uh, the recording of the session on our website, you will be able uh, to access all the materials and to follow the recording, to reproduce all the steps. So I am going to unshare my screen. Daria, you're welcome to start. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Irina, for this uh, great introduction. It's a pleasure to listen uh, about our program. Uh, I just need to mention that we have one question from Artem Kuznetsov in the chat uh, about the first picture from the slide. So I guess it was about your slides uh the first the first picture from this slide so which one could you please just somehow specify yeah artem probably you can ask with uh, the voice while i am opening my presentation yes yes, yes. Uh, the question about the uh about the page where the schedule was demonstrated like the some subjects were li listed so i didn't pay much attention on the, you mean you mean the structure of the program yeah yeah the structure yeah. of the study general plan. Components, yeah general components electives and something else mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so how about if I will just show those slides uh, after Daria's presentation? So we'll work with the right. presentation. And as your question, I will simply come back to those slides and maybe just tell a little bit more in details, okay? Oh, all right, sure. Thank yeah, you. yeah, yeah. It, it actually sounds very logical because uh, I think that I wanted to show that uh, we do use uh, PIKE in some of our courses. And that's why it would be nice to show which courses exactly, uh, where exactly we use this program. Okay, so uh, hello to everyone. I'm really happy to see you um, here. And uh, I appreciate your interest in our program and in PIAC program as well. 
Uh, so today uh, I'm going to have uh, a kind of introduct introduction to uh, Pike program and uh, I do hope that uh, you will like it and you would like to uh, drill into it a little bit further. Uh, so uh, we will start from um, yeah, at first at, uh, at first we will uh, talk a little bit about uh, the network analysis in general. Uh, and then uh, we will move to, uh, let's say, more practical uh, part of our work, and uh, we will uh, try to uh, work with our hands, and uh, we will try to follow uh, what I'm going to do in PIAC. And meanwhile, uh, you can uh, download the program, and uh, I actually sent you the link. Uh, in the chat and uh, this would be uh, yeah probably I can uh, show you this as well uh, mm -hmm. no, just a sec sorry mm -hmm. I just wanted to close the uh, that's it. So I send you the link, uh, which is uh, the link to the GitHub, uh, which is called Workshop Masna 2023. And uh, this is located in my personal uh, GitHub, uh, which is uh, Daria Maltseva, uh, as written here. So you can just press uh, on this link and you will uh, be there in this, in this repository. And there is a special page with all the information related to the current workshop. and. Uh, they will be all the materials, the presentation that I'm going to, uh, to show right now, and uh, the workshop materials and some other things, which I will mention, don't worry. But uh, before, uh, you can uh, click to get started, and there would be the uh, some some hints about the installation of PIAC program. So actually, it is very um, easy and very fast. For those of you who use uh, Windows computer, uh, you just click to this uh, link by program and then you are here and uh, you will need uh, to download this uh, program which is green so you need to be sure that this is green one and I will tell you a little bit more uh, a bit later and so you just press to install shield uh, whether you use 32 bits or 64 bits at your computer and that is done and uh, you will just press the buttons and the program will be installed uh, at your computer. Um, so you can uh, do it uh, while, uh, while I am here with my presentation. Uh, and let's start. Uh, so my name is Daria. I'm, uh, I'm the head of uh, the laboratory uh, of uh, Applied Network Research. Uh, I am a sociologist and a candidate of sciences, and um, um, yeah, you can see some basic information about me, something which I think can be interesting to show. So um, I think that it is important to say is that we just finished the uh, grant of Russian Scientific Foundation, and we were working a lot uh, with the with studying collaboration patterns. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, we used uh, PIAC for all this analysis. And uh, I do hope that soon we will be able to share with, uh, with you some of our results. Uh, and uh, um, my um, sphere of expertise is the network approach in sociology. Uh, and um, I defended my thesis in 2015, and after this, um, uh, there was a book published, uh, which is called Network Approach in Sociology. You can see this um, uh, book uh, on your site right now. And also, uh, I have uh, some articles which uh, deals with the analysis of uh, social network analysis as a field. So I'm very much interested in uh, methodological and theoretical uh, ideas which develop in the field of social network analysis from one point of view and from another point of view um, I uh, I think it's really important to study the state of the art of the field 
like how it is developed, uh, how it is being developed, and uh, what is the current state, what are the most important uh, articles, books, uh, who are the main authors, how these authors collaborate with each other, and so on. So if uh, you would be interested uh, to uh, get involved into a kind of history and the development of ideas, in network approach and in uh, social network analysis. So you can uh, actually uh, go to these publications and um, yeah, this book. Uh, and part, so, part of them is in English and part of them is in Russian. So you can choose uh, how it is more comfortable for you to, to drill into this uh, interesting topic. And uh, uh, another um, part of my expertise is actually PAEC. Um, I was uh, so lucky to uh, be at internship at the Center of uh, Center for Methodology and Social Informatics at the Faculty of Social Sciences at the University of Ljubljana, and there um, our uh, scientific advisors of uh, our laboratory works work uh, who are Anushka Ferligoy and Vladimir Betagel. And uh, after meeting with our professors, uh, I um, started drilling into PAEC uh, because actually this is the program which was uh, created by uh, Vladimir Betegel and uh, Andrei Marvar, who, is, who was his um, PhD student and now he is a professor. And uh, so um, I had the chance to learn uh, PAEC from, uh, from the first hands. Uh, when something didn't work, I was going to Vlad Obetagel and uh, Andrei Marvar asking them about some procedures. And so I think that um, since that time, I really managed uh, to learn how to use PIAC for different um, aims. And uh, this is really a very nice program. And I, uh, I find it very useful in many cases. And that's why I would like to uh, show um, this uh, program to as much people as possible in Russia. So, because I know that it's not uh, used so much. And uh, so I do hope that you will like it and you will try to use it by yourself as well. Uh, so the aim of our seminar uh, is that we will uh, be able to, uh, so so we will we will learn how to perform some basic operations in, in PIAC. Uh, how to generate a set of network uh, data and uh, modify the resulting networks, how to calculate the main metrics uh, for the networks and for some individual nodes, and how to visualize the resulting network. So uh, I do hope that after this workshop, you will learn how to deal with data and how you can open it and how you can calculate some basic things and then even to visualize uh, your network uh, because visual visualization is a very important part of uh, network analysis. And uh, I do hope that some of you will practice working in PIAC uh, at the same time. Uh, so I will try my best so that you will follow, uh, follow me. And uh, so please, if uh, you will follow and uh, if you have some problems or questions, uh, don't hesitate to ask me, to stop me and ask me, uh, because uh, it would be really nice to have a real workshop. Okay, but at first, I think it's really important to say some words about networks, because uh, probably some of you uh, are not so much involved into this field, but uh, anyway, even you are, I think uh, it's always important uh, to start from basic concepts. So uh, now in the slide, we have a network. Uh, and uh, what is network? Network basically uh, is uh, uh, created out of two sets. This is a set of nodes, or we can also call them vertices, uh, which represent the units of analysis. So now uh, on the slide, you can see this uh, um, yellow, yellow dots, uh, yellow nodes. And uh, so these are uh, the nodes, right? And then uh, another set is uh, the links or lines, uh, which represent the connections between these units of analysis, between the nodes. And uh, jointly, uh, nodes and uh, lines form a graph. You might hear uh, this word from uh, the, uh, so there is a graph theory in mathematics and um, 
actually uh, the development of social network analysis is um, uh, so so this is uh, the uh, kind of history of um, uh, different disciplines uh, um, joining together and so um, there are different terms in uh, network uh, analysis and some uh, people do call this analysis like graph analysis so you might uh, know uh, this term from uh, some other uh, research when uh, where it is called uh, it is called graph graph analysis uh, but uh, we uh, in social network analysis it's, we state that uh, besides of graph we also have some extra data uh, additional data uh, which is characteristics uh, of uh, nodes or links uh, so this could be attributes uh, of the uh, uh, nodes so like name type or value uh, and uh, uh, we we can also have some values so on uh, the on lines and uh, also uh, different lines can mean different relation so that's why uh, we uh, have these additional attributes which join jointly with graph form a network so network is graph plus additional data and uh, again uh, just to be on the same page uh, we should uh, discuss some basic terminology uh, and besides uh, nodes and lines uh, we also have uh, such um, uh, such terms as arcs so arcs are directed links so here you can see for example the arc going from c to b so it has uh, the arrow so it means that this is directed so this is an arc and if the line is undirected uh, we call it each and you can see here on this uh, on this uh, page you can uh, see that uh, each which is uh, a blue line so it doesn't have arrows it means that b and e are connected to each other but actually it doesn't matter uh, so much uh, in which um, uh, direction they are connected so we just know that they are connected also uh, we have uh, such term as loop uh, loop uh, is uh, translated translated into, into Russian as a petla, and uh, uh, this is actually the case when the uh, node uh, is uh, like having relation to itself. So sometimes it happens. For example, uh, the person can cite his own work. So then we have this self citation going from author to himself or herself. And uh, also we have some uh, cases when the nodes can be isolated. We call them isolate, isolates or isolated nodes. So they are not connected to the net, to network. And uh, yeah, we have some cases like parallel arcs or opposite arcs. So uh, uh, which are presented here. And uh, why it is important? Uh, because um, there are different ways how to uh, how we can uh, put uh, how we can write down uh, the information about uh, relations in network how we can actually make a representation of network and uh, uh, based on this picture we can uh, we can just discuss uh, three different uh, ways of how the data can be written and uh, this is important because then when we work in Pyke, we should understand how we insert the data into the file and uh, like uh, in which way it can be uh, the network can be described. So uh, the uh, first uh, network data format is when we have a set of nodes and a set of links. So we have a set of uh, vertices A, B, C, D uh, till L. And then we have a set of arcs, which are represented here. And then we have a set of edges. So we just write down the lines which we have between the vertices that we have in our network. And uh, it's all, uh, all these uh, vertices, arcs, and edges, they form graph. And uh, in this case, in Pyke, uh, at first we would write the information about the vertices. So you see here on the uh, right side of uh, the slide uh, that uh, at first we will uh, make an asterisk and then we will write vertices and we will put the uh, number of vertices that we have. 
And then we will just uh, write down all the vertices that we have uh, after their numbers uh, of, uh, of their rank. And then uh, we will write also the information about arcs and the information about edges. So for example, here you see that we have the uh, vertices A and B. Yeah, let's look here, A and B. And uh, we just mentioned that we have all these vertices here on this upper side. And then uh, when we are writing uh, the information about arcs, uh, we will just put uh, the numbers which these vertices have. So we will write one, two, because A have relation to B, but then we will also write two, one, because we have the case of opposite arcs here. And uh, we will write that B uh, has relation to A. And uh, in such way, we will describe the whole network. Uh, and if uh, we do not have the uh, directions of the uh, links, so then we actually do not need to write this information twice. So we will just make an asterisk and we will write edges because this is the type of uh, the links that we have. And for example, we have the relation between B and E. Let's look, B has the number two and E has number five. And we will just write two, two five. And actually it doesn't matter. We can also write five, two, but usually we just make it for our convenience. We start from the uh, uh, smaller uh, numbers to the larger, uh, larger numbers. Um, but it doesn't make any changes because here, if you will write the, uh, for example, here we have one six, and if you will write six one, so then the relations, the, the relation will be different. So it will be vice versa. So uh, this is the first way how we can describe the network and uh, the first way how we can uh, put the data into the file, right? Uh, then another way how we can do it is that we can uh, describe the network as the node which has relation uh, to different other nodes. So for example, here you see, we have node number, uh, no, node A, which has relations to B, D and F. And so we just write this information. For A, we have B, D, F. For B, we have A, F and so on. So later when you will you know, probably look again at this presentation, you can uh, look more precisely and check me. But I think it, I'm pretty sure that uh, uh, everything is written as it is. And uh, in this case, if we describe network in such a way, uh, we uh, at first, again, we have the same upper parts. So we just list all the vertices that we have. So we have 12 vertices from A to L. And then uh, we use uh, such an option uh, that we create an arc list. And what is arc list? Basically, this is the following, uh, uh, yeah, the following line. So we have A, which is number one. Yeah, we have A connected to B, which is two, connected to D, which is four, like here, uh, and uh, F, which is six. So, and in this way, we just describe all the all twenty nodes that we have in our network, and uh, for those. Uh, cases when we have arcs, so we, we use arc lists, but if uh, we have edges, so then we uh, also write it here separately in the uh, part of edges list. Yeah. And again, so here you uh, um, describe the network and this information can directly go to Pyac and can be read in Pyac. We will know, we will, we will learn how to do it, don't worry. Uh, and uh, then uh, the third way how we can uh, describe the network data, probably uh, it is uh, more familiar with, uh, for, for you. Uh, this is the matrix format. And uh, what we have uh, in matrix format, we have uh, columns and rows uh, with all the nodes that we have, right? And uh, we just put zero or one if there is a link from uh, from the column to the row. So from A to B, from A to D, from A to F. That, yeah, we already remember that we uh, have the relations of A to this, um, uh, these nodes. 
and uh, also um, it is very useful format because you can create matrices uh, even uh, from some uh, statistical analysis so it is very convenient to put it uh, then um, uh, into the file in such a form however uh, for matrices there are some limitations and one limitation is that uh, they um, the large large matrices uh, takes a lot of space because you see we have these zeros and in large networks we will have a lot of zeros because this is the uh, nature of such networks and uh, then uh, uh, then it will just be a huge file and uh, probably uh, it will have a limit uh, limit in space so that you you will not be able to insert a huge matrix into the text file which is needed uh, before we have a pike file and in, in another problem is that we can have this um, uh, for example, here uh, you see we have the relations between C and uh, G, uh, and this is uh, C and G. Yeah, aha, uh -huh. we have parallel arcs, and yeah, this is this is fine. The problem which occurs is that we cannot differentiate be uh, between uh, the cases when we have these opposite arcs, like between A and B, citing each other, like right? relating to each other. And uh, in uh, the case when uh, we have relations between uh, B and E, because uh, also in matrix, in matrix uh, there would be uh, two ones between B and E and between E and B. So we will not be able to differentiate between opposite arcs and edges. But uh, yeah, this is this is a problem. In other cases, we in other file formats we do not have this problem. And uh, for uh, this um, type of uh, data again for Pike we will just write the uh, amount uh, all the vertices and then we will write matrix and we will just insert matrix and it will be uh, read automatically uh, yeah I have a question uh, how were these each weights or arc weights calculated ah you mean uh, here on this upper side uh, if so, uh, or, or probably not. No. Yeah, we do not have. Yeah. Uh, probably you thought that these are the uh, weights, but actually these are coordinates. And uh, I will uh, tell a bit more. I, I mean, I, I will tell more a bit later. Uh, but uh, thank you for your question, because it's important to note that we can also put the weight of the link uh, in our file. So, for example, we have arcs between 1 and 2, and we have a value of 10, for example. And what we need is just to put uh, it after this uh, 2. So it will be a third column here. I hope you see my mouse. Uh, and uh, in this third column, there will be this uh, line weights um, uh, presented. The same, uh, so we, we can make it in this file. In this file, it will be impossible. So we just uh, make, um, so this is just the information about the links, like if they exist or not. Uh, and we cannot uh, insert values here. And so here in metrics, of course, we can also, instead of uh, one, we can uh, insert the uh, line value between uh, two nodes. For, like here, for example, we have two because we have uh, parallel arcs. And it means that actually there is a relation from C to G with the weight of two. Okay, let's move a little bit further. Uh, yeah, uh, we are very close, very close to opening Pyek. Just, uh, just, just be patient. Uh, but it's important to note that we, uh, as I told, uh, except for the graph, we also have additional information on our nodes and on our uh, links. And uh, here you can see the example of this additional information. Uh, at first, let me briefly describe the uh, data. So this is the data of relations between monkeys. So it is called wolf monkey data. And uh, they were female and male monkeys. And the researchers were observing them, how they communicated each other. Uh, and uh, again, we have the list of vertices. And then we have uh, edges, like uh, who uh, was uh, connected uh, to, to whom. 
and uh, like uh, the first uh, monkey was connected to second and uh, with uh, like uh, two times probably they were uh, like uh, 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 cleaning cleaning each other from some insects or something like this so uh, it was uh, recorded that it was uh, it happened two times and then from first monkey to third it was uh, 10 times and so on and uh, then uh, we have additional information uh, on the uh, gender of our monkeys. And uh, this information is stored in the uh, file uh, of the format clue. It, is mean, it means clustering. So this is the partition of nodes. Uh, and uh, here, uh, node can belong to some cluster or some group, like in this case, to, like gender can be either one uh, or two. And uh, in uh, such format, we just write the information about uh, this information uh, of uh, the nodes. So uh, we just make a separate file, which will have the extension clue. And there we will just write uh, the uh, clusters to which our nodes belong. So we have 20 nodes here, and we will have 20 nodes, 20, um, yeah. 20 um, numbers here and they will be either one or two because they can belong to uh, two groups and uh, then uh, wait i'm sorry uh, then we have uh, another type of information so which is numeric data about nodes for example uh, it can be some property uh, that uh, a node can have so for example our monkeys can be of different um, uh, different um, age, like here, and uh, we just write the age of monkeys again in a separate file, separately, uh, just the uh, column with the uh, uh, numeric data. So it is the monkey number one, who is male, uh, has uh, is 15 years old, and monkey number six, who is female, is also 15 years old and so on. And uh, so these are very important to understand this structure. So we have net. Uh, I didn't mention it, I'm sorry. So for the network data, we will have files with the extension net network. And uh, for this uh, information about partition, so about the clusters to which our nodes belong, uh, we will have the, uh, the files with the extension clue clustering and uh, we will have vectors. Uh, so uh, this would be the, some numerical information, or we can also count some um, uh, indices or count some metrics uh, like uh, centrality or something like this. And this also will be a vector. Uh, so each, um, each node will have uh, its own, uh, its own uh, value. However, uh, they can be the same. They can be the same, but uh, anyway, it, it is supposed that uh, this is um, uh, for uh, different for any for every node. And uh, also, we have a permutation. This is an ordering of nodes. Uh, like node can have a certain position, so uh, that's why we can uh, study the um, uh, core periphery structure, some um, uh, hierarchy. In, uh, in our networks, but let's not think about it now. So we just will focus on these clusterings and vectors. And uh, yeah, of course, it is important to collect all data as possible uh, when we collect network data, because uh, then we can use it in our uh, pipe and uh, in our analysis, and uh, it can help us to, to explain some um, uh, results that we have. Uh, so, uh, this is the PIKE program in which we are going to work a little bit. I'm just looking at watch. And uh, uh, these are Andrei Marvar and Vladimir Batagel, who are the creator, creators of PIKE. And I already sent you the link to the, um, uh, to, 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 to the website of PIKE. And uh, what we have now on the slide is the uh, PIKE window. So this is the program, which is not uh, like R or Python where you need to code. Uh, this is the um, like um, program where you have 
window and uh, where you need to press the buttons to make it work. And uh, let me just uh, explain you explain you uh, what you have here. So we have uh, the uh, so the, the logic of uh, Pyek is uh, the same uh, as I just explained to you uh, in the previous slide about the types of information that we have. So it was intentionally done. Uh, so we have uh, the window where we insert the information about networks. So here you press the button to, uh, uh, to insert the network. Uh, then we have the window for partitions, and here you can either open some partition or you can uh, you can calculate some partitions. So based on network, you can calculate some partitions. For example, again, based on the centrality, you can put your nodes into different groups. Uh, then we have a window for vectors. So this would be this numerical information. And uh, then uh, this is the window for permutation where you can make uh, the order of the nodes, like in which order they, sh they should go. And also there are two uh, windows which are here uh, like for a little bit more advanced analysis. So this are uh, cluster and hierarchy. And uh, this is used for uh, so-called block modeling uh, analysis and uh, this is not the case of our discussion right now, so I just uh, propose you uh, not to think about it right now. And uh, on this uh, line uh, here, we have uh, different uh, windows with different procedures. So here we will uh, press um, uh, the button here for network or networks if we work with different, uh, like with, with two networks. Uh, then uh, we will uh, go to partition or partitions and vector or vectors and so on. And uh, here we will have operations where we, when we will need to work with two objects, for example, network plus partition. So Pyek actually allows you to extract uh, some part of the network according to, for example, partition. So for example, you have the uh, distinction uh, between males and females, as it was in the example with monkeys. And uh, then you can, uh, you just want to look how um, uh, it looks like, how the sub part of the networks, uh, of the network looks like, like only for males. And then you will just be able to extract the part of the network only for the nodes, uh, which are male, which have the cluster male. So uh, yeah, it's like that. And now uh, we are very uh, close to open our uh, GitHub and uh, to see what we have there. Uh, yeah, so this is the page of Pyek and you can find a lot of information here and even uh, the seminars which we were holding in uh, our uh, laboratory uh, in Russian. Uh, they are also the links to them are provided here. And uh, you can find a lot of useful information. Also, I try to insert some useful information for you here uh, to the GitHub page. And uh, uh, besides the website of Pyke, you can find Pyke manual, which is really very, very nicely done. And this is a tutorial how, to, how you can work with Pyke. And uh, there is an explanation of all the buttons, procedures, and everything. And yeah, I didn't mention, didn't uh, tell at the beginning. Uh, so Pyek uh, means pauk, a spider. Uh, so this is uh, the Slovenian, Slovenian word for spider. And uh, spider is working with ne uh, networks. So uh, that's how uh, it was called like this. So I, uh, for those of you who uh, plan to work further with Pyek, at least who want to try, uh, I really um, advise you to look into this um, tutorial. This is really very, very nicely done. And uh, there is a, another, let's say, tutorial, which is actually a book, Exploratory Social Network Analysis is Spike. And uh, this is uh, uh, the third uh, edition of the book uh, prepared by our colleagues. And again, this is really done and uh, it has the description of some basic, uh, not, not even basic, uh, about uh, different types of analysis in uh, social network analysis. And then uh, the procedures, how you can implement it in Pyek. So you can just go step by step just to uh, do the same things and you will get the results.
uh, great im imagination from the makers of pipe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. I really like how our our professors are working. They are really patient about what they are doing. And uh, again, uh, in the source description of Pike features, you can go to the uh, publication on Pike in uh, in journal Complex Adaptive Systems Modeling, and the, 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 there you will find just the description of basic uh, things. But you should note that this uh, article is rather old, and now Pike has new uh, features and so on. Okay, so uh, now uh, we will go to this uh, page with workshop materials, and uh, there uh, we will uh, look at some uh, something which I prepared for this workshop for today. Uh, so at first, I wanted us to uh, implement the, to create the same picture as shown here as a uh, kind of uh exercise but i i uh propose us that i will comment it and then you will try to implement it by yourself uh so uh you see here we have um we have uh, seven nodes six nodes uh, which are connected by different types of lines so some of them are arcs uh, there is two, there are two edges there is a loop and uh, we also have uh, different um uh, size of our nodes and of also different uh, colors. So it means that they are uh, of, uh, so they have different additional uh, additional uh, information, right? So uh, what we will do, so if I will ask you just to write down the information about the network, we can choose one of the ways which I showed you in the presentation. And uh, first of all, we would just simply list all the nodes that we have. Yeah, so uh, what we do usually uh, is that we uh, open a new uh, text file. So I uh, propose you, if you don't, uh, to use text part because it has a lot of, uh, a lot of different uh, features which are very useful. And what you basically do uh, is that you uh, first need to, let's go like here. Uh, first, you just need to uh, write to put the asterisk and then uh, you just write vertices and the, so the word vertices and then uh, you should write the number of vertices that you have so it will be vertices six and then uh, you write down uh, all the uh, nodes that you have and uh, you can have this um, basically you can uh, even write uh, uh, the labels of your notes without this uh, uh, I'm sorry I just the, the word just uh, went out of my mind uh, but yeah so so these uh, characters and uh, we do it uh, if uh, we have for example two uh, if our labels consist of two uh, uh, parts for example it would be Daria Maitseva, yeah, so then uh, for to, to, to make Pike uh, read it correctly, we just put these characters. Otherwise, uh, then we will we'll just look at the network and uh, we just write down the information about arcs, yeah, because we know that there are some arcs and about edges. And uh, here I just already wrote it and you can also do it by yourself and then you can also uh, actually, actually, I have all these files here, right? So if you press here, uh, the file will appear. And uh, what you uh, can do is just uh, to save it. Uh, okay, let, let me just show you uh, at first here. So uh, we made a file and uh, now we want Pike to read it. And uh, so we need to save the file. Uh, and uh, I will save it in the folder where I have our workshop and you can save it in some of your folders and uh, for example I write uh, net one and uh, it of course it will propose you to save it as txt file but here what we need to do is just to put the uh, comma or uh, the dot and then uh, we just write the extension net because uh, files uh, for networks 
should have the extension net. And then uh, we will uh, again use uh, this um, quotation. Can somebody please help me with Kavichki? Quotes. It's called double quotations. Huh? Double quotation. Quotation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quotation. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so we do it. Uh, so the, uh, in um, how to say, uh, intentionally we put this quotation because we need uh, that the file will be saved exactly in this net extension. Because if you will not do it, it can be saved also in txt, but it will be written net one dot net dot txt. This is not what we want to have. And then uh, you go to your sorry, uh, you go to your ah. Uh, yeah, you go to your folder and then you can see your file, which is which has now the extension net. And when you open it, it will be just the file that we've just seen, right? Okay, and then uh, I had one question in the chat. Uh, loop arc is missing and the arc 5.5 is missing. Oh yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, we didn't, we didn't insert it here because 5.5 should be there. Uh, because this is the relation of, uh, no, it should be C to C and C is three. And yeah, we have three, three here, you see? Uh, because again, uh, so this is the node C and it has the uh, number three here. And that's why we will write three to three. It will, it will mean a loop. And uh, then uh, basically we can just open uh, this file in Pyek. And for this, we just go to our Pyek. We open uh, it from where it appears uh, in your uh, um, uh, uh, table, working table. And then we just press here to this folder, yellow folder. And then uh, again, I need to specify what is my, um, what is my um, folder? And here I will have this net one, and I'll just uh, ask to open it. And then uh, this window appears. Uh huh. Uh, and uh, this is the reporting window, which will help us and which will be showing us what is going on. So we should have it here, but sometimes I should uh, just inform you that sometimes it can appear. So for example, uh, it, it just disappears. And uh, to uh, make it back, uh, you just need to go to info, child windows and report window show. And then it is here. Uh, and uh, so now we have this network and uh, we, what we can do is, uh, of course, we are not going to calculate some things on this network, but uh, what we can do is just to draw it. Yeah, and for this, we can go to draw and we just press network and it will be something like this. Uh, I should also, uh, uh, how to say, uh, inform you uh, in advance that uh, we have, uh, uh, so, so uh, visualization spike is actually great uh, but it just needs to be adjusted. And as now I'm working with, in a, I mean, at the same time, I'm working with my data set. And uh, so here I opened another Pyke window. This is uh, uh, another network. And uh, for uh, to draw it, yeah, I uh, just used some options uh, for visualization. So that's why uh, these options are also applied to my another window of Pyke. And that's why uh, my nodes are too small and so on. And I just need to make some adjust adjustment to it. And uh, as uh, any network analysis is uh, impossible to imagine uh, uh, without visualization. So let's just spend some time on discussing how to better visualize uh, this network. Uh, for visualization, we go to options. And here you can see a lot of uh, uh, things that can be adjusted. And of course we can go to size of vertices. And uh, here you see, uh, I have very small size uh, of uh, vertices and after size zero, uh, we'll make my uh, nodes larger. So like here, you see, uh, then I can, 
uh, I can go to the, for example, size of uh, arrows because they also seem to be very small and you do not see actually the arcs here. And for example, let me do it like 10. Let's look. Aha, uh -huh. you see now we have, we have these arrows. And then we can also go to colors. We can uh, change the, uh, for example, color for arcs. So this will be this blue. Okay, let's change it into this. Uh, and uh, so you see that arcs are uh, marked uh, with the green color and edges, which we have, are uh, with blue color. Uh, however, uh, what we don't see here is loop, right? Uh, and uh, we will not see it here. Uh, I mean, there is no way that we will see it here because it's specially done. Usually loops are deleted from networks. But if we will uh, export this picture and we will look at it at another format, uh, then uh, you will see the loops. So, uh, okay, probably we can, uh, like, let's pretend that we are satisfied with this picture. And uh, just to save it, what we can do, we can go to export. And here we can see uh, this 2D and 3D options. Why we have 3D? Because Pyke also allows us to create 3D pictures, for example, of some uh, genes or some biological networks, because it's important just to, to look at them from different angles, right? And, uh, but we are not going to make it uh, in 3D format right now. We will just make it in 2D. And uh, for 2D, there are different variants. And of course, we can make it like a bitmap or a JPEG. Uh, we, we will just press the run button, and then the picture will be very similar to what we see now on the screen. But uh, we can uh, also save it in a better format, which is um, SVG, which is scalable uh, vector something, I think. Okay, I will not uh, uh, mix you up with it, but just, just uh, so uh, this is this is a, a good format, which can be then uh, opened in uh, some uh, other programs, like uh, I use Inkscape, or it can be something like Photoshop, and then you can work with your visualization further. And for example, let's make it with SVG general and uh, save it in, again, our folder and uh, yeah, I will write it, uh, call it pick one, and we will see, we will just press save, and then we go to our folder, and uh, we see it here, and here it is, uh, it can be opened in, uh, actually, I would like to open it, it in, in uh, Google Chrome, in HTML. Aha, uh -huh, wow, I'm surprised. I have pretty pretty nice <clears throat> picture because sometimes it is different. Uh, and uh, so you see that uh, this looks different, but here we see this uh, uh, loop and uh, the colors are different and uh, so on. Uh, and uh, this, uh, it happens because uh, we, before the expert, uh, we actually need to go to these options and to make some changes here. Uh, so you see there is a huge window of, of uh, different possibilities, like uh, how what, what can be the angle of our label and how it can be turned uh, uh, to, yeah, like according to the radius of the node and so on. Uh, and uh, you see here I have each color and arc color, which are the same the same color. So let me change it right now here in this um, in this window. And then I just go again to uh, export to to the SVG general, and uh, I save it on the previous picture. And then when I open it. I will have something like this. So this is already better. Uh, so this is just to show you that actually you have a lot of a lot of options how to make visualizations in Pyke, and uh, you can use either these options and then if you will export it as, for example, JPEG. Let me do it also. Then uh, the picture in your folder will be very similar to what we already see in Pyke. Yeah, so this will be 
uh, yeah, pretty much the same. But if you use this SVG format, then you also need to work in these options and you need to specify a lot of things just to make your picture looks really nice. For example, you can make the shape of your notes like men, women, houses, triangles or something like this, which can make your visualization really nice. And I need to tell you that uh, Payek was, um, uh, yeah, it was awarded as one of the best programs uh, for network analysis. And uh, also uh, it's uh, in the creators of Payek uh, were winning a lot of competitions devoted to the visualization of networks. Uh, so probably it's a little bit complicated, but it's worth it to understand how this, uh, uh, how this uh, pictures can be done. Okay, now uh, let's go back uh, to our uh, GitHub. And uh, I see that we have, we are a little bit uh, running out of time, but uh, let's just try to, uh, discuss what we have here. Uh, so uh, here you will see all the uh, uh, procedures that you need to press. So exactly like you need to uh, open, uh, you need to draw the network and uh, I just wrote down all the procedures that you have to follow. And uh, yeah, you just can uh, learn it by yourself uh, yeah, as, a, as your home task. And then uh, again, uh, there was a question uh, about this um, uh, about these numbers that we had in our slides, and I said that we have uh, an option to write the co coordinates uh, about co coordinates for our networks. And uh, in uh, here we have the example one network, which is without coordinates. And uh, example one network, which is exactly the same, but it has coordinates. And actually what it means, it means that your picture uh, will uh, be opened exactly uh, in the same way uh, as you made it. So, I mean, uh, when you draw your uh, picture as uh, you, yeah. So we have, uh, we, we have this um, uh, picture, but, uh, we can move our nodes like we, we would like them to, to be. So probably we would move it here because then the structure will be uh, better. The picture will be better because uh, there, there are no crossings uh, between links and so on. Also, we can use different layouts uh, which automatically put the network into the uh, yeah, best, uh, best uh, way. So, for example, we can use energy command Kavai 3. I, uh, yeah, but here we would need just to exchange these nodes, but otherwise, uh, this is uh, the visualization which is proposed by this um, algorithm. Or we can make a Fruchter, Man, Rain, Gold, and it will be something like this, and then uh, probably uh, this um, circular, and then it will be, uh -huh. so it was actually circular. So it was. Uh, all the nodes were uh, put in the circle and the uh, connections between them were uh, included. Uh, and uh, for example, you worked a lot uh, in your, uh, with, your, uh, with your picture. So for example, uh, uh, let me just show you. Yeah, just, uh, yeah, I will, I will show you some uh, picture, uh, which is, uh, sorry, it just came to my mind, to my mind, and I thought that it can be interesting to show it to you. Uh, so for example, uh, we can, uh, open the file, uh, which contain, uh, contains, uh, 158 nodes. And uh, uh, so this is that file that uh, I just showed you that I'm working with. And uh, so let me open it here. And uh, so it will be, it will be red and then uh, we draw. 
and you see that uh, these nodes are, are on some positions because my file contains uh, mm, coordinates. But I can make it like some layout, uh, and it will be something like this. And uh, so it was the uh, it was the at the beginning when I had this network uh, visual, visualized in this way, and then I had to spend some time to make it uh, looking like uh, you just saw. Yeah, you can also see it here. Uh, and uh, of course, I would like to leave the nodes on their places, right? That's why we use these coordinates. And uh, to write coordinates, you just need to go to info, uh, to options. And here you have read, write. And there you, would have, you will have uh, some useful options uh, like uh, coordinates. Here uh, we have uh, da, 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 da. save coordinates of vertices, and you will need to. Uh, um yeah to choose it and then also you would need to use the save files as unicode uh, utf8 especially if you use uh, russian data so if your data is in cyrillic so then uh, you need to press it and other uh, yeah and otherwise your data will be not written in a correct way okay so uh yeah this is it uh, this was about the um, usage of coordinates. It's really important. And here you uh, will know how to uh, save coordinates. And uh, then uh, let's just open some data set and uh, just try to make some count some statistics. And uh, yeah, so here we have the so-called students data set. And this is the data set which is collected by our colleagues from the University of Ljubljana. And uh, these are the students from the Faculty of Social Science. And they were asking some questions like uh, to whom they borrow some materials, uh, whom they inform about news, and uh, like uh, who, whom they would invite to birthday party. And uh, here you have this um, files. Yeah, so these files are already here. We, you see that we have these coordinates. And now here we also have this ellipse and box, ellipse and box, which means that we also uh, write down the format uh, of the shape of the node in which we would like our node to be. And uh, so we have uh, women, which is Z, and they would be ellipses. And we have males, which would be boxes. And then we have the information about relations between them. So we can basically work with this um, uh, data set. Uh, and uh, so we need to save it. So you know how we just created from the scratch, file from the scratch. But if you are going to work with my files, so you just uh, go to, you press the right uh, button of your mouse and you just say, uh, you put save as, and uh, you save it again. Uh, with uh, the proper uh, proper uh, engine. However, you see that here it is already written as net because uh, it is already a net file. Uh, let's just save it and look what we have. Uh, so this you see, but uh, it is written net, but this is a text file. So that's why I really propose you to uh, always uh, put the extension net and uh, to make this double quotes. And now we have this net file. And uh, also what we need to uh, save now would be this partition. So partition would be just uh, the file with the... Uh, just the file with the number of vertices that we have and the groups to which they belong. So nothing else, as I told you uh, in the slide. And uh, again, we just want to save it. But uh, I don't know why I can't. Uh -huh. Yeah, sorry. So we just save it. And this would be. Uh, this would have the engine clue, 
and uh, again we need to put the double quotes and so now we would have these two files in our folder let's check it and uh, we will try to open them right now so we have this s8 and uh, i don't know where my file let me save it again Um, if someone follows me, I do hope that ah, somehow I didn't see it. Ah, sorry, I'm I'm looking at another. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, let's keep it. It's not a problem. But uh, yeah, it would be nice to save it anyway. Just let me. Uh huh. Yeah, like workshop. It should be here. Okay, I'll make it the third time, and if um, there is the file there, the third huh? file, the third file in the folder is master. Uh huh. Yes, yes. So now I have it. Yes, yes, yes. Uh huh. Okay. So now what we do. Uh, we actually go to uh -huh, to the right file because I just do not need to mix it up with another analysis that I'm doing. And uh, what you do, you just open your file as we already um, did it. So it automatically remembers the uh, way, the, the path that we had. Because, so that's why we need to get back to our uh, folder. And we say uh, we open this uh, network right and then uh of course we can draw it yeah we can look at it and you, you, you can see the circles and the uh yeah ellipses and boxes but also what we can do we can open this partition that we saved and uh, for this we go to this uh, another window and we just open uh, open it there and what we can do now we can actually mix this information uh, in our drawing, we can go to draw and we can draw not only network, but network plus first partition. And then you see we will have different uh, different colors of our nodes. Yeah, as uh, because they belong to different clusters. And we can also make uh, can make changes in the colors of our clusters. We can go to partition colors for vertices and then we can, for example, choose uh, red for one, first cluster and uh, blue for second cluster uh, and then we will just apply it and we draw and then we will get this picture okay so uh, this is how it works so then when we have a network file and additional files we can just mix them together uh, and uh, let me just show you some basic things like how you can analyze the data because uh, I see uh, I, I, I look at the time and I think that it will be uh, interesting. I mean, it will be important to make another workshop. Uh, so uh, we go to network here or here and uh, we can go to info uh, to get some general information about networks. And we just uh, usually when you have some windows like this, you just press OK because these are also some adjustments. We do not need them here. And uh, automatically they will be window opened and uh, they will be the basic information about the network. So number of vertices, number of arcs that we have. And uh, also they will be density uh, calculated, density with loops or without loops. And also average degree, which is the average pass between uh, two uh, random uh, nodes in the network. Uh, and uh, so we can uh, actually also look at the distribution of the line weights, which can be important. And again, we go to info, line va values, and here we will get the uh, information that all values of lines are equal to one, because uh, you saw that in our network, uh, we just uh, do not have the values of lines. Uh, then we can think about the extraction of some uh, important nodes. And uh, so like we would like to see who are the most central in our network. 
And for this, we just can uh, make a vector. So this will be a numerical information for each uh, node. Uh, so uh, about like which, uh, which uh, score the node has. And for this, we will go to create vector. And there we have a lot of different metrics and you can learn more in tutorial and in the book. And uh, you just go to centrality and then you press degree or weighted degree. Uh, and also you see that there are closeness, betweenness, centrality and different other types of centralities. But let's just count the basic degree. So this is the number of uh, uh, nodes uh, to which the, no the node is connected. And uh, we saw that we had uh, the directed network, right? Because we have arcs in our network. That's why it is uh, logical to count degree input degree. I mean, uh, these are the incoming, uh, yeah. So I, I mean, in this case, it is logical to count either input or output because then, uh, because we have this information about the uh, direction. Okay, let's look who are the most central according to the input to like whom uh, the majority of other students would like to have at their, at their birthdays. So now you see we have some information which is here in vector. And uh, what we can do, we can basically look at the top uh, students. And uh, again, we press the uh, button with this information. And then uh, we, uh, in this window, it is nice to just uh, put the plus and, uh, for example, we would like to see top five people who has the uh, largest values. And uh, we press OK, and then uh, we get this, uh, we have this report window, and there we will have the information about uh, top five students, and uh, we see that two of them have five, and then we have four, uh, three of them have four. Uh, for incoming uh, incoming uh, links. But uh, actually we can uh, also uh, make a partition uh, based on this data. We can separate the uh, students into the groups uh, based, on, or based on how central they are. And then we will go to create partition degree input. The same thing, but this is a create, uh, this is partition. So I especially spent some time in the beginning saying that what is the difference between partition and vector? So you see that vector is uh, um, creating uh, a, uh, some value to the node. And when we create partition, then we will have groups of our nodes. So now we have this here, input degree partition. And then we press this info and say OK. And then in our window, we will have uh, the groups uh, in which our students can be uh, are, are included. So we have uh, two people in the group five, so which means that they have five connections. We have six people having four connections and so on. And we have three people who doesn't have any connection. So this is cluster zero. And uh, now we can visualize it, uh, all this information. We can go to network plus first vector, first partition and first vector. First means that you can also use second sometimes. So it means that Pi can uh, visualize a lot of information uh, at the same time in one graph. And so here uh, we see now that our uh, the sizes of nodes uh, are some of them are smaller, some of them are larger. So they are they goes uh, in accordance with the uh, vector that they have. And also we have five groups which have different color. And also, as uh, the uh, shapes of the nodes were already uh, stated at the beginning, so we have males and females of different shapes. So now we also have this information here. And uh, theoretically, it can help us to explain what we have on this picture. Uh, so I think it will be also important to say how to save your uh, data. So uh, when you're working with networks, uh, you can change something in them. For example, you can go to create new network and transform and, for example, remove uh, some selected vertices or you can remove multiple lines or loops if you would have some loops or you can uh, change arcs to edges, for example. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, we will just... Uh, 
okay, uh, make it. And uh, now when we will look at the info, we will see that our network became <clears throat> undirected. Yeah, before this, we had 79 arcs and now we have 79 edges. And also we have now multiple lines because each I uh, I pressed uh, this small window very fast and uh, I mean the button in the small window very fast. That's why uh, all arc uh, or uh, all arcs were changed into edges. And you see that in 21 cases, we had uh, two uh, opposite arcs. Okay, but it's not a problem. Uh, we can leave it like this. I just meant that we changed the network and now we would like to save this network. So we will just press here. And again, we will write the title of the uh, network, Net2, for example. And here it will, it will already uh, pre, um, propose you to save it as uh, in the right format, but you can choose arc, arcs or edges, like the first way how I, which I was showing in the slides, arc lists, edge lists, which is the second way. And also you can save it even to metrics from here. So let's, uh, for example, say it's um, yeah, binary metrics, okay? And then uh, you will see in your uh, in your folder. Uh, then we will have this file, uh, which is a matrix file. Wait, it's opened in another format. I will open it with uh, text part as well. So you see that now. Uh, this is uh, transformed from uh, the way how it was, like uh, to 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 the matrix format. So now we have this matrix of the relations, and uh, so this is how to save network. Then we can uh, save also these partitions and vertices. So we again uh, press here and also just write the title of the file and in vectors as well. And uh, what is great, you can also go to file uh, and you can save it as Pike project file, which will mean that you just save everything that you have here. So all the information. And uh, so uh, let's call it Pi. So it will be Pi Pi. Let's look. Did I, I think there was some problem which I decided not to take into account. Okay, let's make it again. Save. Uh, I, will, let's, I will write it. Let's, let's. Uh -huh. And you see that it just uh, saves everything that we did uh, into the file. And then uh, we uh, have. Uh, uh -huh. Let's. You see that this is file of the format pi. And if you open it uh, in text path, then you will see that we have all the information here. So we have network number like first, yeah, the one that we were showing. Uh, then this would be this huge network that I was showing you. And also then we will have uh, the uh, network of students. And then we will have word, uh, uh -huh, the transport network and then we will have partition and uh, partition input degree and vector and so on so everything will be uh, stored in the same file so then uh, when you will just close it and then you will open your file or open your pike and again you will go to file pike project file read and you will just open uh, all the same all, all the same um, files that you will work in this. And this is really practical and it's really very uh, nice because let me show you, for example, this my analysis. Uh, so you see that I had a lot of analysis for my collaboration grant that I just uh, mentioned at the beginning. And we did a lot of things and I can open, uh, I can always open my file and just go back to some network which is needed and open it and uh, make a visualization of it or just uh, calculate some uh, metrics uh, for this network. Uh, so yeah, I think this is pretty much it. Uh, now I would like to move to this slide and to say that uh, you are very welcome to come to our summer school. 
Uh, and uh, I think that we will um, continue the uh, drill, drilling into PIEC uh, in this summer school. Uh, and uh, what is important is that uh, PIEC uh, is taught at our master's program, and uh, this is taught exactly by Vladimir Batagel, and this is the great opportunity to study this program from the first hands of the creator, creator of this program. Okay, so I took a lot of time. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't expect. Uh, and uh, I think that now, Irina, I will uh, give you the words back. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very Thank you, much. Daria. Thank you very much. Yes, so maybe just we abused a little bit uh, with the time, but probably it was necessary just to show the workflow, how we start from very simple theoretical things and how we move to practical application. I am going, uh, since we had the question in the most beginning, after my brief presentation, introductory one, about one slide, I will just show this uh, slide here and probably I will try also what I'm going to do. I will also try to show you in this picture where the courses about social network analysis are embedded in this structure. So overall what uh, Daria was showing you that is about the course which is taught um, by Vladimir, Professor Vladimir Batagel. Uh, we have several courses in uh, social network analysis in our program. We have uh, a very general introductory courses, which is compulsory for everyone. It is introduction to network analysis. It is in the first year in the second module. So you see it here. So I'm showing, I think you also can see my mouse here, introduction to network analysis. And PIEC is taught in an elective course by Professor Batagel, and it is in the fourth module of the first year in the course Advanced Network Analysis Methods. So um, basically this course deals with also some sort of introduc introduction uh, of social network analysis, but through a different program through PIEC, and probably it also makes a little bit complicated because PIEC is such a software that uh, requires, I would say, a little bit at least, some statistical knowledge because it helps to understand how the entire workflow is organized. So here, uh, I think this is my final remarks. Uh, we have this picture, uh, our uh, structure of our study plan. And uh, if you have any question right now, you may ask this question, or I will just let everyone go. So here, once again, this is the structure of our master program. Pretty soon, this picture will be uploaded to our website, and it will be available to all the students. So if you have any question, you're welcome to ask right now. If not, you may write or you may come to our summer school. Uh, yes, you may ask some questions in our social media. So you're really, really welcome. Okay, I think that no questions for now. Thank you very much for being here with us. I uh, have a good day and see you either during our next event about Masna program or in our summer school. So thank you, thank you very much to everyone and have a nice evening or day. So where, where you are, you know, <laughs> which specific time zone so we may have different time of the day. Okay. Yeah. Bye Thank bye, you everyone. so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Goodbye.